Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the top three things to consider when selling your home in Edmonton. Hi, this is Melody Wilson with the Relife team at Remax Elite. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the top three things to consider when selling your home in Edmonton. So obviously there's a million things you can think of, but I want to just talk about the top three. So the first obvious thing to consider is what area do you live in? So what location? We all know that location, location, location is the number one rule in real estate. And so we know in Edmonton, there is a river valley that runs through the city. There's the ring road that surrounds the city and all the areas outside of it is considered suburban areas. And then we have the surrounding areas of Edmonton, such as St. Albert, Short Park, Beaumont, Leduc, Spruce Grove, Stony Plain, that are also all considered Edmonton and surrounding areas. So what location do you live in? Think about that location, pretty obvious where your house is located. And then we're gonna continue on to the next factor we're gonna consider, which is number two, the price demand in each area. The price demand in each area also varies in terms of the market. You have to think about the economy, what the existing market is, is it a buyer seller market? But the price demand also varies because we know Edmonton and the weather is very weather dependent. So you would be surprised that when it warms up in January that the, we see a higher demand, we see more buyers out, we see more sellers thinking about selling their home. But when we have the deep freeze in our city, everyone kind of hibernates and forgets that we kind of live in a winter based city. So. In the springtime, in about March to May, it has a higher demand. And you have to understand too, that we have seen some years in Edmonton where March and April have been quite snowy and I've seen the effects of the price on that. And then also just when it's summer and nice, people wanna be out. So you wanna think about the price demand. And the third thing you want to consider is your type of home. So what kind of home do you live in? There's so many variable homes that are in the city of Edmonton, anything from a 1900s type home all the way to 1950s to 2017 to 2005. So there's a variety of homes in terms of ages. There's a variety of are the garages in the back detached? Are they attached in the front? Are they triple car? Do they have no garage? Is it an apartment? Uh, there's so many different types of homes in Edmonton that you wanna consider, okay, in my type of home, what kind of options are there for other buyers to buy? When you're selling your home, you really need to consider what the buyer's choices are so that you know kind of where to place your home. It's very important to get a professional opinion on all three of these things and how they affect the value of your specific home. If you have any questions in terms of learning what the value of your home is, or in terms of what kind of homes sell for 400,000 in Edmonton, or if I have a 1912 home, how many 1912 homes are in Edmonton? Shoot me a message down below. I have my contact information. I'd be happy to help you. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you next time.